And I guess what I'd like to do is, is, is present to you this one really scary thing and then get you to tell me either, oh no, this is old, this is the way it's always been, uh, <laughs> or to tell me, uh, yeah, you're right, you should move to Mars or something. As a social psychologist, I'm interested in a particular change that happened in 2009. And that is uh, Facebook introduced the like button, Twitter introduced the retweet button, Facebook then made everything go by algorithms, Twitter changed to algorithms in 2016. And the net effect of this is that rather than just connecting people where more connection has always been good, and Sapiens is sort of the story of the reunification of humanity over millennia. Um, the argument that I'm making in this new book I'm writing is that you know, the, the Tower of Babel was destroyed long ago, humanity was scattered, and then we gradually come back together and 2011 is the peak year techno-optimism, possibly the fall of the, you know, the Arab Spring and the fall of dictators. Technology is gonna change everything, go democracy. Um, but things got really, really weird uh, on college campuses in 2014, 2015. We had this new culture, call out culture, speeches, violence. There was a lot more fear suddenly uh, on 2014, 2015 on college campuses. And at least coming from the United States, it has now spread to, to many institutions, journalism, arts, media, many of our institutions are just like our universities. Uh, people are afraid to say anything. They're afraid to offend. They're, uh, they're mm. afraid to, to be provocative in, in universities. And my fear, my concern is that, uh, is that when Facebook and Twitter basically democratized intimidation and harassment, and you can now damage anybody at any time, often anonymously, I, my, my fear is that this has put us in a new world where we don't know what we're doing. Institutions are collapsing. Maybe, maybe this is much more in the U.S. than elsewhere, but tell me if you either understand what I'm saying or, or you see it elsewhere or if I'm just totally off my rocker. Well, I think there is something old and there is something new in, in, the, in the phenomena that, that, that you describe. Um, what is old is that every time a new information technology emerges, it changes the rules of discussion. It undermines old institutions of trust, old uh, ways of civility, of holding a conversation. Who can talk? What can we talk about? And there is a period of chaos. And this is not necessarily bad. It usually allows more people, more groups to join the conversation but we don't know the rules yet. You know, mm. it's like we had 10 people around the table having a discussion, a civil discussion, I don't know, like they had in the 50s. And then they allowed more people, more groups to join. They said, okay, let's have some women and black people and LGBT people and so forth. And now everybody can, have, can write a blog and everybody can voice their opinion. And suddenly what happened is that so many new opinions appear so many new interests, and it's becoming frightening. It's becoming chaotic. The old rules no longer apply, and we don't know what the new rules are. Um, and we have passed through several such cycles, which often are based on a new technology. Uh, a good historical example is the invention of print, or the appearance of print, in the late Middle Ages and early modern period. Um, many people think that print was just a wonderful thing that uh, 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 led to the scientific revolution, but most books that were printed at that time were conspiracy theories about witches and Jews and whatever. And it took time to build new institutions of trust, like newspapers, like academic mm -hmm. uh, uh, publishers. So this is the old thing, it's, it's the old cycle. But the new thing, is that there is a kind of alien presence on Earth. A new alien intelligence has invaded our life, not from a distant planet, but from the laboratories, uh, artificial intelligence. And this is, a, this is something new, it's a game changer, because unlike all previous information technology, it can make decisions on its own, it can analyze us, it can hack us. The print and press couldn't do it. The radio couldn't do it. But the new technology can do it. And for the first time in history, it is becoming possible to hack human beings and therefore also to manipulate human beings on an unprecedented scale. And we don't know 
how to deal with it. We really have no traditions about how to deal with it because it never existed before in history.